I think the average American family probably has a bit of difficulty visualizing all the assets that are under our feet. We don't understand the value and the services that we use just for our personal needs. We're talking about a commodity that's essential to life. I can't imagine a more important resource than water. The water infrastructure is vital for disease protection, fire protection, basic sanitation, economic development, and for our quality of life. And if the infrastructure is not there to actually deliver that water in the volume and the quality that's necessary, then communities simply can't exist. You wouldn't let your house be 100 years old and not ever do any maintenance to it. You would make sure that it was safe. The problem we have is that our water infrastructure is old. 100, 200 years old, it's not been upgraded or fixed or replaced. Water provides so many functions that relate directly to health and well-being. A hundred years ago, it would have been hard to imagine turning on the tap water. And now it's an expectation. Our water and wastewater systems really are engineering marvels. Because it's buried, it's invisible to us, and we tend to take it for granted. That's a mistake. People see that their roads can cave in, their bridges can fall. Things that they can see are falling apart. But also, the infrastructure they can't see is falling apart. And that's the one underneath their feet. We have about two million miles of pipe in this nation. If you're walking around in an urban area, you're probably stepping on a pipe. They all have a life expectancy. If you don't maintain them and constantly check them and rehabilitate or repair, you're going to have a big problem. They're going to collapse. They're going to fail. And all of a sudden, the water or the sewage that normally goes through them will not have any place to go. It'll back up into homes. It'll back up onto the street. And you're going to have some very large messes to clean up. It's normally out of sight, out of mind. Once it comes to the surface, it's a whole other animal. You're talking about system-wide problems that would take tremendous human resources to correct. We are facing a crisis in infrastructure. We're having to choose how to spend our money. On a national scale, if you looked at what we're spending now and you looked at the additional investment requirements over the next 20 years, there's a $540 billion difference. The problem is large, and it's getting larger every year to adequately maintain these systems. And if it doesn't get under control, it's going to be out of control. For the future of our economy, our schools, our individuals' public health, it's critical to reinvest and make whole this infrastructure that's falling apart. We need to accept the responsibility that future generations need to be able to rely on those assets to have the same quality of life that we have. Infrastructure across this country needs to be addressed, and it needs to be addressed now.